Oh hi everyone, it's Nicola and I'm here with my latest empties video for the month of November and I think also October. So I'll have a look at my previous video, but I think it was October and November. Um, and yeah, I've got quite a lot in there and I just want to get rid of it and because I'm not really sure when I can next do a video, whether I can get it done before Christmas or not. So I thought as I've got a good amount, let's just get it done, let's get going. Um, so yeah, a real range of different odds and sods really. So I've got skincare, body care, um, yeah, just randomy bits. Where shall I start? I've got a couple of multivitamins, sorry, not excited at all. My daughter, Peppa Pig, vitamin D, that's the last one she's used up of that. Um, and then also the Well Kid Soft Jelly, both fine. She prefers the Peppa Pig ones. Um, these ones are like a harder kind of multivit, not so soft, although it says, I'd say there's other, other kind of more softer jelly types that she prefers, like those Peppa Pig ones. Um, I've got a hand wash that I got from TK Maxx. This is the Bayless and Hardin Goodness Beautifully Clean Natural Hand Wash, Sea Kelp and Peppermint, 500 mils. This was, yeah, this was nice, pleasant. I had this in the kitchen. This was three ninety nine. Would recommend, and yeah, I like the brand. So they are all good. Um, I'm just just gonna try and get yeah the boring bits out of the way first. So wake and mouthwash in peppermint five hundred mils. I'd like to try more different variations of this mouthwash, but good, nothing bad to say. So I realise I look knackered as well. I'm really tired at the moment and I've got a bit of a chesty cough. Um, so not feeling at my best, but there we are. And these are from Aldi. These are the Active Max Adults Collagen Gummy Strawberry Flavour. Um, these were nice, 30 mils. Did like those. And I'm on a different variation from Aldi as well now. This is um, a bath and body gel from the brand Wish, which I got through FabFitFun in one of their edit sales. And um, this is toasted vanilla bath and body gel, sulfate and dye free, gently cleanses, 390 mils. And yeah, I really liked the kind of, I'm not a massive vanilla fan, but the toasted part of it, you do really smell in a nice way it's a strong smell it's nice and um, so really like those and they were great to be able to pick up in the fabfitfun edit sales cheaply um, and i've got the body lotion which is almost um, finished um, but that will be in my next round of empties i would think so that's that um what's other bath type products have i got in here Ah, I've got some more bits and pieces. And then I've got a lot of skincare, which is always my favourite section. Um, this is from Lush. This was in the kitchen subscription box for the Halloween October um, edit. And this is Potion Kitchen Exclusive Body Lotion, an elixir of spicy floral magic rose enchants while tangerine draws your mind into a soothed state and that was a hundred grams and i did really like this actually yeah really nice it was a shame it wasn't a bigger one i preferred this scent i think than the full size ghost um, shower gel that was also in that same edit which i've almost finished um this is from The Rituals. This is one of their refreshing foaming shower gels, 50 mils. And this is The Ritual of Hammam, a purifying ceremony for body and soul. Um, I took this when we were away in Cornwall recently. Can't really smell it now and I feel like my senses are off. But no, it was nice. It was refreshing. I can't see what the, the, the scent notes of this was. But unfortunately, the, the um, stopper, I think, seemed to have got damaged because when I used it, it just kept pouring out. It wouldn't stop. And I know that my son, he's 18 months, 
he will go into the bathroom where these were stored with my um, kind of smaller sample size or deluxe sample sizes, minis, etc. that I take away for holidays and breaks away. He was getting in there and wanting to, you know, pull things out and so on. So I think he must have done something to the cap. And I've got another one. I think it's in the cherry blossom scent and I'm worried he might have done the same to that. But we shall soon find out when I use that. Um... Uh, this was a bath bomb from Wilkinson's, Wilco's, um, fruits, rhubarb and vanilla bath bomb. And this was my, my daughter. I got that for her last Christmas, I think. And that was nice. You know, pleasant, just like a, you know, reasonable, cheaper bath bomb for her. Didn't irritate her skin. This is the Child's Farm Baby Wash for sensitive skin. Doesn't really foam up or anything. This was fine, pleasant, obviously good for young kids' skin. We ended up using this when we were away as a hand wash by the sink because we didn't have any soap. But we have used it in the shower and bath for the kids. So not very foaming for the bath. Um, something else from Lush. This is the Monster and Aliens, um, one of the fun bars. You know, they have different colours of fun bars, which is like, looks like Play-Doh. You can pull bits off. And, you know, use it in the shower. You can use it in your hair as well. Um, you can use it under running water in the bath and it creates good bubbles. And this was, yeah, really lovely. My daughter likes these and she's got the angel edition that come, came out for Christmas. Um, so this says it's got patchouli, black pepper. Um, yeah. To me, just really sweet, reminiscent of just gorgeous lush scent, if I'm honest. And then a couple of other things I've got here from Losh. I've got from um, the Pool Harbour. This, I believe, was the latest. Um, was this the, yeah, the latest um, Fresh and Flowers November box. Yes, it was. I've just checked it. I'm just going to read through the things on here that I have used. So there was the Bur Bird in Boat bath bomb. Um, I used that. That was nice. It was quite a small one. That was that was good. The Mineralize Me Fresh Face Mask. I have used that, and I haven't finished it, but I have been using it. And it's got seaweed in there. Um, you know, it's nice, decent face mask. Um, the binocular iPad. I used that, and I also turned it over so I could use it twice. Um, Paul Harbour soap. Um, sorry, shampoo bar. It was like a blue bar um, sea salt shampoo, which I thought would be quite volumizing. But actually, I remember when I used it, I've only used it once, I think. I didn't feel like it had really cleaned my hair particularly well. Uh, so it didn't, I assumed it was going to have like a deep, clean feel. But actually, my hair felt like it needed uh, to be washed quite quickly or, you know, better. So we'll see how we go. But... Um, I didn't wash my hair as much as I had needed to on the day I used it. The Samphire soap I haven't used yet. That's in my soap dish in my office toilet. Um, but yeah, that was nice, pleasant smell. And then the Seaweed Enfloage Massage Bar. Um, it said it was hotty fragrance, which I didn't realise. And it was had softening seaweed gel. It was so um, buttery, like as soon as you kind of touched it or pinched some off, it really did um, li liqui liquefy. Yeah, liquefy. I think that's the right word. Um, very quickly, but at the same time, it took a while to soak in. So um, I've still got quite a bit of it left. But I have used that a couple of times now and did enjoy it. Um, and then I've got, yeah, a couple from the... The Lush Kitchen Boxes. Um, so the Mean Green Mother from Outer Space Bubble Bar. That's that one there. Used that a few times, a couple of times. I haven't still used the Bath Bomb Cobweb. Um, I might use that tonight. One or a different one I'll show you in a minute from the latest box. And the Body Lotion Potion. That has been used up. And the Shower Gel Ghost very close to using up and that'll be in the next empties i'm sure and then for the november edit there was a body conditioner in yognog 
and I'm using that in the shower at the moment that's so I will report back the Thai Thai shower gel I haven't used the bath bomb and fireball and the body scrub in golden pear I haven't used so yes I'm going to use though that shower gel hopefully soon I'm going away for five days so we, I might take that with us when we go um, later in December the fireball I might use or I might use the cobweb one from the previous box and the golden pear I'll be using soon because the latest uh, the limited edition from Lush for Halloween I can't what's, I can't remember what it's called now but I pretty much finished it just the jelly bats um, that I haven't completely used so that was amazing and I was really toying whether to still try and see if I could purchase it or not um, because I've got other exfoliators to use up um, but that's become a uh, favourite definitely a favourite um, body exfoliator really highly recommend that I have got um, actually I've got another thing from Lush here this is the Notkins Fresh Face Mask so this must have been was it the October um, Fresh and Flowers box so this says golden crisp leaves are falling snuggle up as candles flicker and sink into a steamy relaxing bath lashings of creamy chestnut puree condition and nourish the skin whilst rich hazelnut butter and soothing acorn jelly moisturise all gone and it smelled like a kind of cherry face mask really lovely um, I will at some point with a sash that I've got taken back to Lush and I'll get a free face mask but one I don't need a face mask at the moment and I might actually use these to store like a shampoo bar or something in the shower or bath just in the interim um, another shampoo I've got is the Body Shop Banala Truly Nourishing Shampoo for normal to dry hair, 250 mils. This I got previously at a Christmas time by my mum bought me it. And it feels nostalgic. I've had this growing up at different times. I'll come back to it. It's, yeah, very nice. Very lovely. Oh, another, another shampoo and conditioner. This is the by Colour Well. Colour Security Shampoo, um, both 30 mils, the shampoo there, I think the conditioner. I would like to try these in a bigger size because I use these when they're in my wash bag. So I'd use them if we're away and then, you know, I think it. I use them not in all one go. You know, it's kind of using and then coming back to it for, for kind of overnight trips and so on. Um, but yeah, what I did have or what I can remember from them is that they were lovely. Um, but I'd like to try full size in these in the future at some point. Um, yeah, really nice. But only 30 mils. Um, and then pretty much it's almost then. I think we're almost, I've got oh, a few makeup bits. Um, but then pretty much onto skincare, I think couple of body bits remaining but yeah okay right um something else from lush this was a um gift set that had a french kiss bubble bath and you see it there and bath bomb in twilight both really lovely um i think i'd had those kicking around i don't know why my um wardrobe um, been storing them and so they got used and that was that these I got I think were they latest in beauty mint Vad Vadam I think teas mint melody green tea with pure mint leaves certified organic a couple of those there really enjoyed them had them whilst I was at work at my computer they were nice nails ink thirsty hands Super hydrating hand masks for dry and tired skin. These are great, really lovely. I struggle to find the time to actually, you know, do put these on and do nothing. But yeah, really lovely moisturising. Um, would recommend. Would you like to use them again? Um, 
so I was just seeing if you could recycle the packaging. Um, Beauty Pro Tur Turmeric Infused Sheet Mask. I think this was from Natus and Beauty. Do you like these? Turmeric, not a favourite, I guess, but it was nice. Nothing bad to say about it. Would happily use that again and recommend. Um, and then this, I think I picked up from TK Maxx. This is Pineapple Foot Mask with Natural Fruit fruit acids exfoliates and softens um these are the ones where it makes your feet peel you know the skin come off um quite underwhelmed by this i don't think it really did much for my feet at all didn't really notice much peeling at all not sure why because it was well in date um it's got into october 23 but yeah it was, wasn't amazing um and I wouldn't say that's based on my feet being in a great condition. So, yeah, a bit underwhelmed by that. Um, wild deodorant, pina colada scent. That they're fine. Um, got those on the go. Using another one now as well. Molten brown, orange and bergamot hand cream in 40 mils. This was a gift set I got at Christmas. I think I've got another one and uh, is it like a pink grapefruit or pink pepper scent and I think I also got another one of that same variation in the glossy box limited edition box so yeah they're nice um, some makeup makeupy bits super goop unseen screen SPF 30 water resistant 15 mil UVB high protection this was okay what I would say is that often it would peel on top of um, particular moisturisers I'd use. So was a bit underwhelmed, but also I try to go for um, SPF 50. So I think it's just because of being in the winter, you know, it was a good opportunity to use a lower SPF. Um, yeah, and a couple of makeup bits. This is really old, but Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. As far as I'm aware, they don't sell this anymore in the UK. I could be wrong, but I think it's certainly gone out of boots. And is it a super drug? Um, this was hydration, SPF 15, um, apricot anti-fatigue, green anti-redness, white anti-dark spots. And this was in ivory. And that was fine. It was okay, but I can't repurchase even if I wanted to. And then this is a, this was a eyeshadow by Lush, um, skilled with elegance and ease, and I can't read. I can't read what it was called, but it was like a lilac-y, sparkly colour, which was nice. Although I, when I'd use setting spray over my finished makeup, I'd feel like this, it would flatten this, but not in a great way because it would change the kind of colour and um, look and texture of the the product. Um, so in a way the design was good because you could try and dip in your eyeshadow brush but actually it was also quite a mess, quite faff so nice colour but I, I don't think I'd repurchase I don't think so but I had that and it, you know obviously got it through it all um, right and the final bits now we are on to skincare so perhaps I'll try and do this in order so I'm just going to get it all out of how I would apply the product. Shall I do that? Let's go for that, shall I? Sorry, I hope I'm not being too noisy. I probably am. Right, so. Some other things that I had kicking around in my wash bag that I would, was not using consistently, but as and when um, travelling. One is the L'Occitane Mousse Immortal Precious Fo Cleansing Foam, 50 mils very fresh scent I'm sure this was expensive but I got this as a I think as you know like a gift with purchase um, a size when I bought something there I imagine um, really nice wasn't drying to the skin lovely um, didn't make me want to, I don't know why not appeal to rush out and buy one not that I need it probably why but I did really enjoy using it so we'd be happy to use it again and maybe I'd purchase again in the future the Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser, Daily Exfoliator, Exfoliating and Clarifying Treatment. 
This was fine. Again, I think this was something I picked up as a gift we purchased somewhere. Um, it was fine, but I don't tend to use the kind of physical exfoliants really anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would buy other stuff as a treat from Tata Harper, you know, like face wash. Um, but yeah, not the exfoliator, not for me. Um, what else? I've got a small Pixie Glow Tonic 15ml exfoliating toner. Again, I would use this like in an evening um, as part of my wash bag. So I've used it before. Um, it's okay. Um, but because I haven't been using it consistently because it's a small one, I don't really feel like I've got an up-to-date kind of opinion on what I thought about it. Um, okay, I have got oh, another cleanser I've missed. Liz L Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser 200ml. I definitely prefer their, their pump version, the smaller one. Um, and I prefer the original, which is this, the Rosemary Chamomile Cocoa Butter and Eucalyptus Essential Oil. Cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother, clearer skin. This is what my husband picks up. You know, generally he'll get me at a Christmas time. So I hope that he does. I hope he does. Um, but if not, and I'm sure I'd purchase it again. But I just feel that there's... Um, so I was just trying to see if there's any more that I could get out to show you. Um, there's, you know, other good competing ones. I'm actually trying a rose version from Audi at the moment, and I'm enjoying it, I have to say. But yeah, this is brilliant as well. But there are definitely other brands trying to do the same thing as this Lizelle. But this is, yeah, great. And I'll definitely reuse that again in the future, I'm sure. QVC do great deals for these. Um, this I got from FabFitFun. This is the Flight Mode Skincare High Altitude Hydration Mask, 50ml. It's like a sleep mask, essentially. So that was packaging. And this is it, completely all empty and gone. Um, so this had, it says, sit back, relax, and get some beauty sleep whilst Australian wildberry harvest and hyaluronic acid work to hydrate and plump your skin. Our leave-in mask is infused with aloe vera and cucumber extract so you'll wake up feeling soothed and refreshed. And yeah, I'd say that was fair, that was true. So I got this um, from FabFitFun when I, was, when I was subscribed as part of their edit sale. And yeah, it was great. So I would have picked it up again if I was still a member with FabFitFun, but I'm not. So I don't think this is easily accessible in the UK. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen it. Um, and I was able to get this reasonable. I don't even know how much I paid, but it wouldn't have been a lot in their sales. So I did really enjoy it, but I wouldn't pay ridiculous amounts for it either. Um, okay, last bits now. This um, Antonia Burrell, Burrell London Forest Dew Plump and Hydrate Beauty Water. And this was a special edition as part of a Caroline Hiram's beauty kit. Um, it, it coined as Botox in a bottle. Well, I certainly didn't experience that. But it just says plump, deeply hydrate, reduces pores and redness with this silky serum textured beauty water. So I would use this instead of a toner. Um, and yeah, it's totally gone. It was okay. I wasn't wowed, if I'm honest, so I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. And I guess it kind of feels like it's, it wasn't a toner, it wasn't thick enough to be a serum, it wasn't really an essence either, so it was kind of somewhere within those realms, and yeah, I wasn't wowed. Um, I've got a sample from Clinique, um, Pep Start Eye Cream, which was seven meals. This was okay, don't remember anything amazing about it. Again, I think this would have been in my wash kit. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to get that out of my collection now. Um, a couple of serums, both which are brilliant serums actually, and both from the ha Car Car Ugh. Caroline Hyron's kit, get my words out. And the first is Zelen's Lumino Brightening Serum. At first I thought, oh, you know what, I don't really know what all the hype is about. 
you know, it's okay. But actually towards the end, it, it really is a lovely serum. So this is the empty bottle and it's 30 mils, big glass bottle, quite a lot of unused glass at the bottom there. What I would say is when you lift the lid, it's not going to redo it now, is it? But I can see why people drop their Zellens bottles and they break and are very upset. Because if you try to, you, you can't, you know, usually if you try and pick up by the cap like that, with this you can't because it will just come off. Um, like that, see? But that being said, gosh, this really is a beauty. It's, it's lovely. It's really good. Really lovely. Um, but it's about £100. It might even be more than that. It's about £110. Certainly at least £100 when I looked. I think I looked at it. looked fantastic. Yeah, the smell is quite um, like sheer butter type smell. That's what it reminds me of. It's lovely. Would recommend it. Would like to pick up at some point. But yeah, the price is on another level really for serums, isn't it? And then the other serum that I've got is Medicate Liquid Peptides 30% Complex Multi-Peptide Serum. And this is 30 mils. This is lovely as well. Um, really nice. I'm on my second bottle of this. Um, and yeah, really nice. They're not too badly priced. Um, and this to me is quite similar, the peptides, quite similar to hyaluronic acid. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd liken it to, to it in my um, skincare routine. So I've been using this at night actually under moisturizer. And then I've got um, the last few bits, I've got is a few moisturizers. And actually these have all come from Natus and Beauty. So the first one is Cetaphil Moisturising Lotion, 29 mils, tiny one that we kept getting in our boxes and they had a short lifespan on the 10th of um, uh, 22. So I've used it up, but I know I've got at least one more. Uh, I think I've got one and a half more. And yeah, so as far as I'm aware, the kind of date has gone, but I'm still going to use it. It's still okay. Um, these are basic, fine, okay. Um, I think can leave you getting a bit greasy. So it's one that I'd use at night time, really. Um, and the next one from Latent Beauty was this Save Rejuvenating Moisturiser, 50 mil. Um, this one, it says it will smooth the appearance of wrinkles with the help of plant-derived bacuchiol, which I understand is an alternative to retinol. So I did enjoy this. They do a light version as well, so I definitely prefer the non-light version, which is this. Um, I was quite keen to get it used up, though. Oh, there's a bit that's just come out. I was quite keen to get it used up when I used two, one after the other. Again, because I think these had a short life day on them. Um, but yeah, you can see it's sunk in well. It was hydrating, was nice. And this was actually September, the date on it. But yeah, so I got a bit fed up, but then it's probably just because I like to, you know, mix things up in with different skincare. But I would recommend, and I'd certainly pick it up again if it comes on Latest in Beauty. And then this was from a CEW edit with Palmer's, um, with, sorry, Latest in Beauty. And this is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, Coconut Water Facial Moisturiser in 50 um, grams. And it says with vitamin E, Raw coconut oil harvested from the coconut balm naturally hydrates and infuses skin with antioxidants formulated with ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients using fair trade coconut oil. What I would say, so I liked it because it wasn't, the, the it didn't go hard. I would say, um, you know, I don't have really sensitive skin, but actually this was quite fiery. Yes, yeah, lovely. Um, coconut scent but wasn't particularly you know moisturizing hydrating um so i was quite keen to you know get through this and get it used up um yeah it was a bit um my skin was quite sensitive to it i don't know the words that i'm looking for but yeah my skin was quite sensitive to it so there we go that is all my 
empties. And actually, I think I did pretty well with the skincare side of things. What do you think? Um, please let me know what you thought of my empties video. Please do like and subscribe. I love empties videos, so I'm always on the hunt looking for new ones. Um, but yeah, please do like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you all very soon. All right, take care. Bye.